to connect Apple Pencil first generation to literally any iPad, I will first of all start by showing off iPads which are on this website and in this list. Then I will show iPads which have the asterisk and I will also show connecting the pencil to iPads which are unsupported. So starting off with iPads which are in this list and don't have the asterisk, you're first going to remove the lid of your Apple Pencil 1 and then just connect it to the lightning port of your iPad. Patiently wait for a Bluetooth pairing request and tap pair. You may also need to have Bluetooth on first but it typically gives you the option to turn on Bluetooth when connecting. Now, if this fails to work, you may need to clean the charging port. So get an old brush and just rub the bristles in the charging port, then try again. For iPads with the asterisk and even unsupported iPads, follow my steps. So first, you will need to buy the USB-C to Apple Pencil adapter. This can be bought from Apple's website. Looking at the adapter, we have this circle here. And so this circle is where you connect the Apple Pencil 1 to. Then you get your iPad charger and connect one end of the charger to the adapter and then the other end to your iPad. Now, if you have an asterisk model iPad, you should have the pairing request. If you don't, then the connection won't work without extra steps. So if you see pair, tap on pair, then remove the pencil to use it. Now again, with unsupported iPads, follow these extra steps. So this is the latest iPad Pro, and it says accessory not supported. Leave the Apple Pencil plugged in and tap OK, and then open the App Store. You're gonna search for light blue, and download the light blue app into your iPad. Now we're going to open light blue and we're going to check if it will let us connect without any workarounds. So you're going to allow the Bluetooth connection and then patiently wait for the Apple Pencil to show up. If it's not showing, we'll just close, reopen light blue and try again. I had to restart my iPad and now if we scroll down, we see the Apple Pencil. So tap on the Apple Pencil and let's see if we have to do even extra steps. So it's showing us an error, which means we will have to do the extra steps or if it lets you enter in a password and it doesn't work, then what we have to do is we just have to pair the Apple Pencil to an iPad which has the pencil support. So you could get a friend's iPad, that has the pencil support, just plug in the pencil, and once it's paired, you must tap on the eye, so we're in Bluetooth settings, and then tap forget this device, and then forget. And then, we're now gonna try again, and even after we are connected, there's some extra steps, so please keep on watching. We're gonna reconnect the pencil, and we'll just close out, ignore the not supported, close out, reopen light blue and so I'm confident this time it will work so we'll find the Apple Pencil and we'll tap on this one so what should happen is it's going to ask for the Bluetooth pairing request if it says not connected you have to do the earlier step the password is one two three four and then tap on pair now give it two seconds and once done Unplug the pencil, but there's more. So now the pencil will work, and even the hover feature on the new iPad Pros works on the pencil. Every feature will work perfectly fine. However, when you go to charge your Apple Pencil, it will not work on your iPad again. So what you need to do to fix that is when you've charged your Apple Pencil and you want to use it again, on your iPad that's unsupported, just open settings, go into the Bluetooth settings, tap the eye on your Apple Pencil, and then forget the device. Then follow the previous steps of connecting the pencil, and then this will work every time.